Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and I'm a dual citizen of the United States and the Philippines. For today's topic, I'm going to discuss the departure guide from the Philippines. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the mandatory health protocols. After this discussion, I'm going to enumerate the eligible passengers and the documents that you needed to present at the Bureau of Immigration counter. Here are the standard health protocols when departing from the Philippines. First of all, you needed to have a face mask and a face shield. Second, you also needed to download the Trace mobile application for contact tracing. For those who do not have a mobile phone, you can do this online by using a desktop computer and register ahead of time before departure. Also, if you are a passenger of Philippine Airlines, you needed to register or fill out the passenger health declaration form at least five days before departure. The passenger health and declaration form requires an email address. So before you depart, either if you don't have an email address, you must create an account, or if you already have an email address, please register ahead five days before departure. I'm also going to send the link below for all those PAL passengers who wanted to fill out the passenger health and declaration form before departure. Also, please be mindful of the community quarantine classification at your local area because it might affect your travel. If your area is under enhanced community quarantine or ECQ, then only essential travel is allowed. You might need a negative COVID test or a proof of vaccination or a quarantine certificate before even going to the airport depending on your destination where you are coming from. Also, please take note that there is a huge possibility of a flight cancellation or delay. If you are a passenger of Philippine Airlines, you have options if your flights have been canceled. First, you can rebook your flight to a later date. Second, you can convert your ticket to a travel voucher. Or third, you can refund your ticket without penalties. Now let's talk about the eligible passengers who can depart from the Philippines and the documents that you needed to present before the Bureau of Immigration. First, let's talk about the overseas Filipino workers. Here are the documents that you needed to present. First, you are going to need a Philippine passport, a valid work visa and contract, Overseas Employment Certificate or OEC, Pre-Departure Orientation Seminar or PIDOS Certificate, or if you are a seaman, you will need a seafarer's identification and record book, also departure card, required travel and health documents as specified by the destination. This means that if your country of destination requires a travel insurance or health insurance then you will need to present this before the bureau of immigration as well also you will need to execute a bureau of immigration declaration acknowledging the risks involved in traveling i'm also going to provide you a copy in the link and i'll also provide it in this video also you will need a registration to the pile passenger profile and health declaration form if you are a philippine airline passenger as early as five days before your departure. Also, international travelers who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 that are required by the country of destination or principal or employer to present a proof of COVID-19 vaccination, you may request this from the International Certificate of Vaccination from the Bureau of Quarantine. However, this request is not mandatory and this is not a requirement for all travelers. The second type of passengers are students and exchange visitors. Here are the documents required for this type of passenger. 
First, you will need a passport and a valid visa, also a certificate from the Commission on Filipino Overseas or CFO if you are a student or exchange visitor except those who are going outside the country for tourism. So you will not need a CFO certificate for tourists. Also a departure card and required travel and health documents as specified by the destination. Also the BOI declaration form acknowledging the risks involved in traveling. You will also need a registration to the PAL passenger profile and health declaration if you are a PAL passenger. Also, you will need a certificate of vaccination if required by your destination. The third type of passengers are citizens. These are, for example, U.S. citizens or permanent residents of a foreign jurisdiction. This will also include those who are former Filipinos or Balikbayans. The documents required are the following. First, you will need a passport. Second, you will need a valid permanent visa or permanent resident card. Also, a Commission on Filipino Overseas CFO for first-time immigrants. A departure card and required travel and health document. Also, you will need a Bureau of Immigration Declaration acknowledging the risks involved in traveling. Also, if you are a PAL passenger, you will need a profile and health declaration form. And also, if you are fully vaccinated, you can request an international certificate of vaccination from the Bureau of Quarantine in Manila. Also, you will need a travel pass but the travel pass is not required for philippine passport holders there are only specified passengers who will need a travel pass and this is required by the bureau of immigration so you will have to apply for a travel pass from the bureau of immigration and not from the philippine national police anymore so i'm going to send the link below in my description on how to apply for a travel pass there are only a limited foreign nationals who are required a travel pass. Also, those exempted from a travel pass are those foreigners who have a valid immigration clearance from the Bureau of Immigration. So you will not need a travel pass. Now, who will need a travel pass? Those foreign nationals whose visas are issued by the Philippine Immigration and other special laws and also other investment promotion agencies. So the travel pass is a single use document and it's valid for 30 days. The last type of passengers are outbound Filipinos or those traveling for leisure purposes. The documents that will be required are as follows. First, you will need a Philippine passport Second, supporting documents and medical health requirements if required by the destination country. Also, you will need a confirmed round-trip ticket. Also, the travel and health insurance will be needed to cover travel disruptions such as hospitalizations in case of COVID infections during your allowable stay abroad. You will also need a BOI declaration form and also, if required by the country of destination, a negative COVID test and also a registration to the PAL passenger profile and health declaration form if you're a PAL passenger. Also, international travelers who are fully vaccinated, you can request an international certificate of vaccination from the Bureau of Quarantine. Please remember that the outbound requirements of the Philippines are different from your country of destination. So make sure that you have the necessary information and documents required. Also, if you recently traveled in the Philippines, please share your travel experience and let us know what you think of the travel restrictions. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Also, please don't forget to like this video 
and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell i always welcome new subscribers thank you guys for tuning into my channel i hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day